Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about applying real wood veneer edging. And typically I find myself doing this when I'm doing bookcases or cabinet work and I'm working with furniture grade plywood and I want to hide the edge. The, the result is I, I want it to look like a solid piece of wood and if I'm not doing a face frame or some sort of solid nosing or edging on this and I just want to hide it, I'm going to use thin veneer. It's, it's easy to do, I'm going to show you how to do it. What is thin veneer? Edging, it's basically real wood. It's an eighth of an inch thick. It's pre-sanded and impregnated with a heat sensitive glue on the back side. Get it at a local lumber yard or wood supply store. Comes in rolls like this. And basically you iron it on and rub it smooth and, and it's, it's ready to go. So let's talk a little bit about that. The process or the tools you're going to need to get started are you're gonna need the veneer tape and I suggest you buy it a little bit bigger than you, wider than you need it. If you're working with three quarter plywood, get seven eighths or something a little bit bigger so you can get full coverage. You're gonna need a square, a utility knife, a wood roller or a wood block for smoothing the tape after it's heated, a sanding block with 150 grit paper, and sometimes a cabinet scraper can be helpful cleaning the edge a little bit. We'll talk about that. To apply the veneer, I typically will do the long ends first, the long runs first. Typically on a bookcase or a cabinet, it's the verticals typically. So what I'll do is I'll cut my veneer an inch longer than I need it. I'll use my square, I'll square an edge, and I'll start it. I can either start it flush or I can overhang it a quarter inch at the top. And then one thing, one tip I really want to stress is as you're installing this, pick a side and install it flush to one side. That way you only need to trim one side, not two sides. Half the work, time is money, right? You save that, that labor from trimming two different sides and sanding and all that stuff. So flush to one side. I typically flush the insides and I worry about the outsides because a lot of times the outside's gonna get hidden. At least in this particular project, it will be. So what you do is you set your iron to the, almost the higher setting, just back off a little bit from the highest setting and you're going to apply and heat your tape in four to six inch lengths, keeping your edge flush, that one edge flush. And as you heat it up and it starts to warm up, you go back and forth over it, maybe, maybe for 20, 30 seconds till it starts to heat up and the tape starts to stick. Then you take your roller or your wood block and you really roll and press it in. You want to really make sure you get good adhesion to the edge of this plywood. You're going to do that all the way down, keeping that edge flush as you go, heating in six inch sections and rolling or smoothing with your block. When you get to the end, finish it and then you can trim your ends and then you can trim your edge. I suggest laying the piece down on a wood workbench and using a utility knife and trimming from the back side. And it seems to work better by having the veneer backed up by something. If you can't do that, if, if it's a big bookcase and you have to lay it down, you know, maybe you can lay it down on a piece of plywood on the floor and cut it or use a block of wood and basically use it as a backer for your knife as you score and work down your project. So that's how you apply veneer edge banding. Now, what about the horizontals or the perpendicular shorter runs in the project? Maybe you have a, you got your top and your bottom and maybe a mid span or some shelving. And what are you going to do about those? Same thing. We're going to start with a, an inch longer piece. We're going to square an edge and we're going to butt that edge into the already installed veneer. We're going to heat in our four or six inch lengths. But here's the thing. This is where it differs a little bit. As we roll or we smooth, we're going to smooth toward the installed veneer. And the reason why we do this is we don't want to pull away from it and open the seam. So we're going to work our way all the way to the end, stopping about three or four inches from the end. Then what we're going to do is we're going to trim the end a 64th longer than we need it. Now remember, we have veneer on either side of this and we're perpendicular here. That 64th of an inch is key. And the reason why we do that is we're going to then bend up our plywood, basically just, just put a little bit of a bend in it, and then we're going to push it down into the seam, heat it, and press it. And that 64th of an inch is really going to matter in keeping really tight, almost invisible seams. You really, really 
really want to take the time to do that right and get those seams tight. And again, you're going to follow the same uh, trimming with a utility knife. And one thing I didn't mention before that you want to definitely do is after you trim, you either use a cabinet scraper to, to trim the excess off or you, you just sand it flush with some 150 grit sandpaper and a block and sand it flush nice and gently and then maybe even cant the sandpaper and make a couple of quick passes over it just to smooth the edge and make for a nice transition. In a nutshell, we're trying to make plywood edging look like solid wood from a distance. If done properly, it's going to look great. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you next time in the shop. Take care.